Welcome back, everyone. Uh, it's so frustrating. I'm redoing this video now. Uh, this is actually my second take because at the very end of the video, I forgot to turn off my phone and somebody called and it stopped my video and I don't really know how to edit. So I have to like do the whole thing over, but that's okay. It's, it's like I, I rehearse it and now I'm ready to go. So mail call for Coach K. Uh, first one is 1958 All-Star. It is in excellent shape. I paid only $3 more for this one than I did the other one. And it is much crisper, sharper. Yeah, the corners are a little soft, but all together in really, really good shape. And I'm probably sending this one off to get graded. Um, and you got a little, you got this little soft corner there. But overall, really not in bad shape at all. And for $3 more compared to the other one that graded a four, I'm hoping this is at least a seven. Seven or higher, maybe? I don't know if it'll be higher than a seven because of the corners, but it should grade fairly well, I would think. I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not an expert grader, but I've seen cars that are similar right around the same grade, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Christmas gifts. So, Julia Panda J has been looking for softball cars, and of course, she doesn't know any of this yet. Uh, I picked up a 2006 Jenny Finch from when she was with Arizona, pitching in the World Series, and of course, now I'm getting a bunch of glare, so we'll just try to tilt that down a little bit. I apologize. Um, so her uncle and BK's godfather, um, Uncle Jack, is going to give this is going to be a gift from him to her. It is a really cool car, and she'll be excited about that. Jenny Finch, she was lights out, boy. Had a perfect record there. Was it 30 and all? 32 and all. Wow. Incredible. Married a ball player. I can't remember. She married a pitcher in a uh, major league. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. And I believe they their son, their first son, they named Ace. Both of them, you know, she married a pitcher. She's a pitcher. So their son's named Ace. Makes sense. Cool card. This was a fun piece. 1969 Red Sox batting helmet. And when I was a kid, this helmet, not even this one, just any, any, any variation or team putting this helmet on made you feel like such a major leaguer you just thought you were the big leaguer once you put this on it is this is brings back so many memories of being a kid and playing wiffle ball and i talk about wiffle ball with like the yellow skinny bat and we would put tape on the end of the barrel to make it just a little bit heavier and then we'd end up taping the ball up a little bit uh you guys know what i'm talking about the biggest mistake i made with this and i'm just kicking myself in the butt I left it in the garage because I was trying to hide it from Big K and it got cold and it cracked. And I'm so frustrated because these helmets are like $30 and I only got this one for five. I mean, it was the paint was kind of chipped up, in the, but the other nicer ones were $30 and I'm not buying myself a $30 plastic helmet. <laughs> but for $5, I thought this was really cool. So he, I'll just have to he'll wear it for a few videos, I'm sure. And then uh, <laughs> I'll just put it up on his wall or... We'll hang it up in his room somewhere. But yeah, this this brings back so many memories. And I, I'm telling you, man, you put this on, it was like you were instant big leaguer, man. That's so cool to get that. And then here's another present that's coming from uh, Uncle Jack. Is an oversized framed World Series ticket from the 2018 World Series with the Red Sox. And it has all their signatures on it. Not real, obviously. Well, maybe not obviously, but. Not, it's just facsimile stuff. Numbered 115 out of 5,000. But a really, really cool wall hanger. This is, he's going to love that. And it's really cool looking anyway, regardless. It didn't matter what team this was that was in it. This is still really cool looking. I love stuff like that. All right. Here's the fun discussion part. So I'm sure everybody has seen the Ron Lewis lithograph of the 11 uh, living 500 home run hitters. So I picked one up. And you may notice it is autographed. Every player. Okay. Now I have looked at several copies of this, several different sellers and stores and collectors and shops. And the cheapest I've seen this is around 1500 
to 2,000 is like the average. And I think the highest I saw was 3,000. The image itself is, is really, really nice. It, it doesn't even matter. That, that part of it is really cool. And I, I'm really into the big home run hitters in the 500 club. I don't have a lot of their cards, but maybe something I'll, I'll start collecting. I don't know. We'll see. But the image itself is awesome. Now, I did not pay $2,000 for this. I paid a whopping $100, and that's the first check engine light that should come on for everyone. $100 for, I mean, that's less than $10 an autograph for all Hall of Famers of the 500 Home Run Club. That in itself should say fake, 100%. So I really thought when I got it, I was like, well, now he, now it's it was advertised everything as being uh, authenticated. Uh, legitimate signatures. The POA is what I would call very sketchy. It's talking about opinion and, and I mean, it's just, you know, it's got the phone number on here and it's got a verification sticker and the verification sticker matches the one on the picture. And well, I would call it pretty sketchy. So really when I, when I ordered it, what I thought was going to happen was I was going to get this and it was just going to be like facsimile autographs. Like I didn't, you know, I was gonna say, yeah, somebody's just trying to get away with one. But then when I started looking at it and realized that they're legitimate signatures. And I had read somewhere at one point in time about sports memorabilia, and it was saying that 60% of the signatures are faked. And they're such good fakes that they fool uh, the authenticators. I don't know how true that is. That seems kind of high. But... Uh, I'll try to see if I can get this to work for you guys. And there we go. And you can see, and it's legitimate Sharpie marker. I mean, there's, if you get really close, I don't know if you can get to where you could see, I, when I do it with my, my own eye, you can definitely see like the streaks. And you can see where the marker is darker. And you can even see it's like raised. I don't know if I'll be able to get you to see it, but it's actually raised off. It is not printed. This is not printed on there. It's not copied. These are legitimate. So, oh, and I lost the focus. Oh, well. You can pause it on that, in that one spot if you want to really look at it. They are legitimately written on with a marker. Now, is it, is it their autographs that's on there? Nah, that's the left to be determined. But it's definitely somebody took the time to sign all these names. And I know there are versions too that I looked at this. Uh, they were signed in different spots. You know, they were signed different sizes. You know, one person signed a little bit smaller than the other. And, and all of them were like that. Like no, there was no, of all the pictures that I looked at, or the versions or copies of, the, of this image, Nobody had like an identical one. Like they were all different. You know, they were all signed differently. They were all signed in different spots. Uh, so I can't even say like, oh, they copied this person or they copied that person. Now, it was really just gonna come down to, I'm 100% gonna have to get this authenticated. I'm gonna send this in. Because if, if it comes back that it, that it is legitimate, and I highly, highly doubt that, if it does come back to be legitimate, it would literally be the buy of the decade to get the 11 Hall of Famers of the 500 Home Run Clubs autograph on one picture for $100. Now we're talking $10 a picture. And you cannot touch anybody, any of these guys' autograph for $10. That is just insane. So I'm going to say fake. And even if it's a fake, I still really like the picture. I will report it. I'll probably to be contacting the seller and try to work out a refund of some sort. Because I would like to keep it. You know, I would pay, I don't know, $25, $20, $25 for this. Maybe $15, $15 to $25 for, you know, uh, just a print. Just because it's a really cool picture, it really is. I'm going to try that one more time with our... trying this so you can see it's so hard like I'm trying you know I mean I'm holding a I 
like even there, like see right there at the top, you can see how it's like it's darker. And you can see this is lifted. So somebody actually did this with their hand. These are actually, I see there's another example where you can see like it's actually, it's raised a little bit. Even like Mike Schmitz too, let's see if we can. I apologize, I'm really trying to do it for you guys, I'm sorry. It's hard to hold and look through my phone and. But, I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm thinking fake. It'd be really nice if it's real though. It'd be insane if it was authenticated. It comes back legit. But still something I would frame. And that's it for today's episode of uh, Fan Mail with Coach K. So we got our unknown Ron Lewis lithograph autograph with 11 Hall of Famers from the 500 Home Run Club for $100, which would be the steal of the century. We got our Jenny Finch. We got our 58 Williams. We got our really cool Make Us Feel Like a Big Leaguer helmet. And then the other picture is just too big to to put up here with the other stuff. But if you enjoy what you're watching, we are super close to 200. I think we're at 192. We ate more and we could do our drawing for the giveaway. Take a look for the 200 sub giveaway video. I will link it at the bottom of the description. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe, tell your friends about us, comment, give us a thumbs up, let us know how we're doing. Thanks for watching.